Hey, it's Lauren. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, it's so nice to meet you. I'm so grateful that you're taking this time to join me and watch my video. I post videos three times a week on Sundays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. And today in this video, I am going to talk to you about gut health. I have suffered from gut issue problems for pretty much the majority of my life and I have finally, I wanna say, I almost wanna say healed them because I feel so much better than I once did and I wanna help you heal your gut if you're going through some digestive is digestion issues, bloating, just overall stomach pain. I've been there, I feel you, it freaking sucks. So hopefully my story and these tips will help you out. So first off, I'll just kind of explain to you what my stomach problems were. It was essentially, it felt like someone was taking my stomach and just wringing it and squeezing it. It was this unbearable pain. I would be doubled over. I was, you know, always putting pressure on my stomach to kind of make it feel a bit better. And went to countless doctors, did all these tests, ultrasounds, x-rays, you know, and no one could figure out what was wrong. They just kept saying, everything looks fine. I also dealt with major bloating issues. I was pretty much constantly bloated. I was always gassy. I was always just uncomfortable and TMI. Sorry, I was constipated. All of these things combined were just wreaking havoc on my life. You know, I didn't want to go out with friends. I, I was always canceling plans. I always felt awful. You know, you don't feel hungry when you're really stopped up. You just feel gross. And there were times that I wasn't even eating dinner because I just felt so sick. You know, Gravol and Zantac were my best friends. I felt like I was always popping pills and I just didn't want to do it anymore. And so I finally, when we were in Vancouver, I said, nope, that's it. I'm taking control over my health. I know something is wrong and I'm going to get to the bottom of it. And I think that kind of brings me into my first tip with all of this is you have to be your biggest advocate because not every doctor, not every naturopath, not every nutritionist is going to be able to help you. And that doesn't mean that that you're wrong. If you know within yourself that something is wrong, then you need to keep fighting and you can't take no as an answer because I took no as an answer for too long and I spent too much time uncomfortable and in pain and feeling sick and when I finally became an advocate for my own health and my own body, that's when things really started to change. First off, I always do think that it is important to see someone that could help you. You want to see a professional. So the people that I saw who really ended up helping me were a naturopath, a holistic nutritionist, and a gastroenterologist or a specialist for your gut. So when you go to a naturopath, the first thing that I would say you want to ask about is a food allergy test because you really don't know. It could be something that you're eating that's causing you to feel the way that you're feeling, to be bloated, to be in pain. Uh, I was told that the symptoms of food can take up to three days to leave your body. So if you're eating something, like for example, if you're eating eggs and you're intolerant or allergic to eggs and you're eating eggs every day or even every other day, you're not giving your body the chance to get rid of the eggs so your symptoms just aren't gonna go away and your body is just gonna take that much longer to recover that was the first thing that I did I did a food allergy test with my naturopath and learned that I had a bunch of intolerances to things that I was eating quite regularly so I stopped eating those things I went on like a little bit of a cleanse and then I was able to slowly work my way up to being able to eat those things again but it took a lot of time and they're not things that I can eat every day like eggs for example was something I was majorly intolerant to, but I love eggs. So I've gotten myself to a point now where if I buy the right eggs, like I buy really good quality free range from local farms, and if I eat them, you know, maybe a couple times a week, I seem to be much better than if I eat them all the time. So essentially what we learned when I was working with my naturopath in Vancouver was I was a kid that was on antibiotics a lot. I had a lot of ear infections. I always had strep throat. I had mono twice. And basically the antibiotics that I was on were just killing all of the bacteria in my body. So not only do antibiotics kill the bad bacteria, which is what you want, but they do tend to kill the good bacteria too. And because I wasn't properly taking care of my, my gut, 
or my health or my digestion, I just never fully recovered from that. So there were certain foods that I had to cut out and then I also had to get some good bacteria back into my body because that was one of the reasons why my gut was so angry all the time. And I'm gonna tell you all of the tips at the end of this video, so just keep watching and I'll tell you everything that I was recommended and everything that I do. But the next place I went to was I went to a nutritionist. So I went to a holistic nutritionist and again, I'm really glad that I went to a naturopath first because it was really helpful since I'd done that food allergy test so that I could tell her, these are the things I can't eat. I've already gone down this road. We've already done a cleanse. So it didn't have to be, you, you weren't necessarily restarting, if that makes sense. So I also knew because going to the naturopath that I had to heal my gut. So that was the question that I asked the nutritionist. I said, this is what I've been told. I need to find a way to heal my gut and introduce more good bacteria into my body. Alongside of seeing the naturopath and the nutritionist, I also wanted to see a specialist. So I saw a gastroenterologist. So I let her know all of my symptoms. And again, when you're seeing a specialist, you you have to take advantage of the time that you're there with them and be an advocate for your own health. Those were the kind of the three people that I saw who really helped me propel myself forward and start feeling better. So a naturopath, a holistic nutritionist, and a gastroenterologist. So if you're starting on your health journey, trying to heal your gut, I think that that's a really good place to start. You don't wanna do this on your own. It's, it's too hard and there's too many magic pills out there and there's too many ways that you can make it even worse so I definitely recommend naturopath nutritionist and then a specialist based on what you're going through now let's talk about some things that I've done that have helped with my gut that I still follow to this day first thing probiotics 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 oh my gosh I cannot believe I went almost my entire life without taking probiotics like I said, I had no good bacteria left in my body. That is why my gut was fighting me all the time. I found out that I had leaky gut syndrome through my nutritionist. My body was just kind of fighting against itself. One of the first things that I was told to get on were probiotics. And I gotta tell you, probiotics are a life changer. They are so good for you. So you're essentially like throwing bacteria into your body, putting good bacteria back into your body. And they work really well at keeping you regular. Um, another thing that I do that is amazing Amazing is I drink lemon water first thing every morning lemon water it promotes hydration and it aids in digestion so it really just helps clean out your system especially when it's the first thing you're putting it in your body you're hydrating your body and you're also helping to just get rid of everything and as a benefit it's just amazing for your skin it helps clear your skin makes your skin really glowy and beautiful all I do is I take half of a lemon and I squeeze it into a cup of you can do either room temperature water or warm water you don't want to do hot water and you don't want to do cold water the next thing you want to do is you want to make bone broth and collagen a daily part of your routine when I was seeing the nutritionist, we did essentially like a bone broth cleanse where the amount of bone broth that I was consuming was insane. It was unbelievable the difference that it made. And now that I've made collagen a daily part of my routine. I don't have bone broth every day, but I do have collagen every day. If you watch my smoothie Sundays, you know I'm throwing collagen in that smoothie every day. So essentially what's so great about bone broth and collagen is there's an amino acid called glutamine, which is found in bone bone broth and it is said to really help uh, with your digestion and taking collagen taking bone broth it helps to repair the gut lining which is what helped stop my leaky gut syndrome so it stopped those toxins and bacteria from leaking out of my intestinal wall and it stopped my body from thinking they were an invader so yeah collagen is essentially going to help repair that lining and it's going to just keep putting good bacteria into your body much like the probiotics next thing you want to consider is eating a low FODMAP diet. So FODMAP is, I have to look at my computer for this because I can never remember these words, fermentable oligo D monosaccharides and polyols, which is a fancy term used to classify the groups of carbs that can trigger digestive symptoms like bloating, gas, and stomach pain. The low FODMAP diet is so huge that I'm not going to go into detail about it in this video, but I am going to link below a, um, a website for you. And then if you want a chart that talks about the foods that you should and shouldn't eat, let me know and I can send that to you. I've got a PDF of one that's really great. 
but I noticed a huge difference when I tried this out and it's so funny some of the things that I was eating regularly like for example beans are very high in FODMAPs so I stopped eating beans broccoli like raw broccoli raw cauliflower super high in FODMAPs and when I cut those out my bloating and like gas especially just went just went down it was incredible so that was actually recommended by my gastroenterologist because we also discovered that I had IBS irritable bowel syndrome so she um, she had me take specific probiotics for that which I will tell you about and then she also got me to try out eating a low FODMAP diet next thing and this was a recommendation from my nutritionist take apple cider vinegar shots first off apple cider vinegar is disgusting I know it tastes awful but it works just take a quick shot plug your nose if you need to it is incredible so what what I do normally is I'll add apple cider vinegar to my lemon water so I'm just getting both in but I have heard people say that you can do one or the other so if you don't like lemon water or you can't handle citrus do the apple cider vinegar but it is also said to help with your digestion and to just help clean you out much like the lemon water but when you do buy apple cider vinegar you really want to make sure that you buy it with the mother and the mother is strands of proteins and enzymes and friendly bacteria that kind of give the product that murky appearance so it will say with the mother okay another tip that has really helped is eating chia seeds chia seeds are packed with fiber which is so essential for keeping you regular and for helping with like your digestion but you always want to soak your chia seeds before you consume them I didn't know this for a long time and I found this out so like when you're putting them in a smoothie don't just put the chia seeds in the smoothie either put them in afterwards or soak them in a liquid and then put them in because they kind of form this gelatinous coating which helps them easily move through your digestive system and then help to clear you out so always soak your chia seeds another thing that you want to do that is so important that I had to do is limit your sugar Having too much sugar in your diet can cause candida, which is a yeast that can be found in your intestines, to overgrow. This can cause major issues because your good and bad bacteria become imbalanced, and symptoms of this can include gas, cramps, bloating. So I had a candida test done, and I was super high on candida, so sugar was another thing that I had to limit. So definitely, if you think that, if you have those symptoms like a lot of gas, a lot of cramps, a lot of bloating, and you do think you eat a lot of sugar, talk to your naturopath about it because my naturopath brought that up to me. We did a test. I had a super, super high candida overgrowth and we had to do our own, like just a side cleanse to kind of bring that back down. And now because of that, I try to be very careful about my sugar intake. And my final tip for you is to try and take a break from gluten. I know it sounds like the worst thing in the world. It doesn't have to be forever. Just take a break from it, see how you feel. And if you do notice you feel better, you don't necessarily have to cut it out for good, but maybe just try and limit your gluten intake. So essentially you wanna stop eating gluten for about two weeks and see if you notice a difference. I noticed that like my bloating went down a little bit and I just kind of felt a bit lighter and the constant pain that I felt I was always in went away. Because again, it takes food up to like three days to kind of go through your body. So you've got to give it some time to really notice a difference. And you can also book a test through your doctor, through your naturopath to find out if you do have an allergy or if you do have celiac disease. Those are my tips and kind of my story, I would say. That was kind of my like chronological timeline. I had a ton of things wrong with my body and I had no idea. And they were all things that don't show up on an x-ray or on an ultrasound. And seeing the different people that I saw really helped me figure out all of the issues. And I can honestly say that my gut feels incredible now. I have IBS flare-ups every now and then, but I know how to deal with them. And I'm so regular. My bloating is down. I'm not in pain anymore. I don't take gravel or Zantac as much at all. So all of these tips really, really helped me. And now I'll just show you a few of the products that I have in my daily routine now. And I'll link them below for you if you wanna check them out or, or mention them to your doctor, naturopath, nutritionist. The first thing I said was probiotics. When I saw my gastroenterologist and we found out that I had IBS, she put me on a line. It's a probiotic meant specifically for people with IBS. So if you don't have IBS, you probably don't need this, but if you do, or you think you do, mention this to your doctor. It takes a little bit to get used to. Like I was definitely, it took me, I wanna say like a couple weeks of bloating before everything just kind of went back to normal, but I've been on these for maybe, four years now. 
love them. You can get them at Costco too, so good. The collagen, I get collagen at Costco, I get it on Amazon. This is what I'm using right now. It's the Organica brand. I really, really like it. You want it to be the peptide so that they'll dissolve um, without thickening your liquid, and you want it to be grass-fed if you can. Apple cider vinegar. There are a lot of brands out there that are really, really great. This is just the one that I have, but it's got the mother, and you can even say, like I told you, it says, with the mother. So, super important. You don't have to put it in the fridge, leave it out. Just kind of give it a little bit of a shake before you pour it, but really, really great. And then, chia seeds. These are the things that I have every day. I like to get organic when I can, but you know, you do you, buy whatever you want. But again, soak them. That is my biggest, biggest, biggest tip that I never used to do before. Soak your chia seeds. That's my video, guys. This is long, I'm so sorry. But I just really wanted to go over this information with you and this is a video that I've been wanting to do for so long. I know how it feels to be in pain and to be bloated. It just affects your life, like it makes you feel terrible all over. These tips really help me and I can honestly tell you that I am in a much better place now than I was before because of how I healed my gut. So that's my video. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to leave them below. If you don't wanna comment publicly, you can always um, send me a message on Instagram. I'll put my little handle here for you. I just wanted to put this out there and help you if you're going through issues like I am. But yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got something from it. Please make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can see more videos like this. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.